Well, hello everybody. I'm Dr. Robert Butte, the Lifestyle Doctor. Today we're going to be talking about the plank. So there's three main positions of the plank, and I'm going to take you through each position and how to do it properly. This is position number one. This is the easiest position to start in, and this is the position that you should be starting in if you've never planked before. So you want to make sure of a couple of things. One is, you want to make sure that your head is relatively straight, and that your body is relatively straight. You want to make sure that your shoulders and that your, your torso is sitting relatively neutral in the shoulders, that your elbows are not completely locked, that they're just slightly unlocked, but they're nice and strong. You want to make sure that your body is nice and tight, that your abs and your glutes are nice and tight. That's the position. Position number two, you want to come up off the knees, onto the feet instead. Again, the same thing, body nice and straight. Now, with this one, same as with the last one, you just want to be careful that you don't overarch the low back, like this position. You want to hold it nice and tight, just like that, abs tight, body nice and straight. Final position is down on the forearms. Now, this is the hardest position to hold the plank in, and you want to be, again, focusing on contracting the core, keeping the glutes tight, keeping the body nice and straight, and the arms and the, and the head and the torso nice and neutral. So you want to keep that nice and strong, and you want to hold that. That's position number three. And there you have it, that's the plank. So just remember a couple of key points there. Number one, you wanna make sure that you are not overarching your low back. You wanna keep that body nice and tight and you wanna make sure that you're keeping the body straight. Do not bend backwards. Number two, you wanna make sure that you contract both your abs and your glutes, so your butt and your six pack. You wanna keep them nice and tight. You know, as strong as if someone were gonna come along and punch you in the gut as hard as they could, you wanna keep it as strong as you can. So those are the two things to focus on. So with each time you do the plank, a, a really good guide, a really good goal for this is to do 90 seconds, have a few minutes break, and then try 90 seconds. Once you've mastered each position, that's when you move up to the next position. So give it a go, let me know what you think. I'm Dr. Rob Beauty, the Lifestyle Doctor. Have a fantastic day, everyone.